A fifth person in the UAE has been diagnosed with the coronavirus, but don't worry, the person is stable and under medical care. Today, I am going to break down the symptoms, preventions and treatments as well as the global economic impact of the coronavirus. First, what is the coronavirus? The 2019 novel coronavirus is a virus linked to the outbreak of respiratory illnesses first detected in Wuhan, China. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention in the US, early cases were linked to a large seafood and animal market in Wuhan, indicating it was originally spread animal to person. What are the symptoms? Mainly fever, cough and shortness of breath and may appear in as few as two days or be dormant for up to 14 days after exposure. How does it spread? Well, person to person, when respiratory droplets land on a patient, when an infected person coughs or sneezes. How to prevent being infected? There is no current cure right now, but the CDC offers the following tips to prevent getting infected. First, wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Second, avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth with unwashed hands. Third, avoid close contact with people who are sick. Fourth, stay at home when you are sick. Fifth, cover your cough or sneeze with a the tissue, then throw the tissue away in a trash. And lastly, clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces. Now, considering the sheer scale of the virus, I'm talking 10,000 people infected worldwide with over 200 mortalities reported as of January 31st, the global economic impact is not negligible. China's increasing share of the global economy, coupled with its growing integration in global supply chains, means a slowdown in China stemming from the virus. Back in 2003, when SARS hit the Chinese economy, the global fallout was limited. Now, this was because the country's weight in global growth at that time was a modest 4% compared with the 17% share of global GDP today. Fear surrounding the outbreak may cause a behavioural shift and impact travel and tourism globally. Chinese tourists have driven sustained growth in travel across Asia, having increased from just 2% of the total number of tourists in 2002 to 9% in 2017. Goldman Sachs believes the fast-spreading coronavirus will knock 0.4 percent points from annualized growth in the US over the first quarter of 2020, as Chinese tourism in the US dips and exports of American goods to China takes a hit. With eight key regions and two cities in China subject to closure of non-essential businesses until at least 9th Feb, the significance of the epidemic is beyond doubt. Well, thanks for watching ABTV's Explainer. We will be back again with the next news story next week. Until then, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and of course, like, follow and comment on this video.